Well, leaders of Japan's main political parties will debate on Sunday for the first time since the snap election was called. Investors will be watching for clues on how Shinzo Abe's policies differ from those of Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike. Her party of hope released its manifesto this morning. Among the pledges are phasing out of nuclear power and the possibility of taxing companies' retained earnings. Let's bring in our Japan and Korea managing editor Brian Fowler. He's joining us live from Tokyo here this morning. Brian, how convincing is this list? It's quite an interesting list. I mean, first of all, on the, the question of branding, she's, uh, Koike has already um, made um, some progress on that. She's, she's dubbed her platform Yuri Nom Yurinomics. Yurinomics, which of course sounds a little bit like <laughs> Abenomics, but uh, nonetheless is pretty catchy. The, the, you mentioned that the tax on retained earnings at corporations. That's an interesting uh, step. It's a surprise. She says she's thinking about it. The number she's, they've thrown out is 300 trillion yen. Uh, our data show that right now the aggregate value of all retained earnings at Japanese corporations is actually about 275 trillion yen. So we're not even at that number. Uh, it looks like that's a way to sort of cap retained earnings in an, in an effort to spur more investment and capital facilities as well as to possibly wage, uh, do wage increases. Uh, Brian, uh, the taxation, though, that is where her party is, look, is differentiating uh, itself from, uh, from Shinzo Abe and his party. What would be the economic impact of freezing a sales tax increase? Well, one of the big problems in Japan's economy has been consumption. Uh, we've, we've been okay on exports, especially with the yen fairly weak uh, compared with a few years ago. But consumption has, has, has trailed, and, and that's partly because wages have not gone up by any sort of uh, convincing rate, especially base wages for full-time workers. So by freezing the sales tax, people will feel a little bit wealthier, perhaps that they'd spend more money on, on, on products and goods and, and having fun in Japan. And, and in that sense, uh, that would be a, a boon to the economy. But that would, of course, assume that she actually wins in the election, which is still in doubt.